सो गाइज इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू डिजाइन द फीचर फाइल फॉर द लीड्स फंक्शनैलिटी एंड हाउ टू रन द टेस्ट नाउ लेट से वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन यू आर रनिंग अ टेस्ट ओके देर मे बी अ फेल्यूअर टू द टेस्ट स्क्रिप्ट एंड वेन फेल्यूअर हैपन्स वी वॉन्ट टू कैप्चर द स्क्रीन शॉट सो हाउ टू डू इन केस ऑफ कोकुम्बर सो इन कोकुम्बर वॉट एवर सर्विस हुक्स वी हैव डिजाइन राइट If you'll go inside the service hooks, which I have already, I think, spoke in my very first video. Here, in after end test, I have added condition, right? So in the end test, I have added argument is equal to scenario, and this scenario, when you are importing, please make sure that you are importing the scenario of cucumber dot api dot scenario. right so when you write scenario it will ask you to import the package please make sure that you are importing this cucumber.api.scenario because you will get lot of alternate options to import and even for after before it should be cucumber.api.java after and java before so once you supply this argument and when you say that scenario dot is failed right so on the run time it will check for the test status once the test will get finished it will check for the status if failed i am doing that log dot info because we have a logger here which we have registered log dot info scenario dot get name is failed okay and uh, then this is very important line very very important line we need to capture the screenshot when failure happens so as you know that to capture the screenshot your driver need to be cast with the take a screenshot okay and if you go with this take a screenshot so this uh, look at here this take a screenshot it is a it is a abstract interface okay you can see that it is a abstract interface and it has only one method called get a screenshot as okay it has only one method so what happens is when we cast the driver with the take a screenshot interface then the driver will be capable of calling the method get a screenshot as okay so it will be capable of calling that method and this method will uh, we are giving the input type as a output type dot bytes dot if we'll do it has a bytes file so i'm going for bytes okay so i'll capture the screenshot in the bytes and store into a a uh, screenshot variable when you just place mouse over here and click on create local variables you will get bytes okay make it final this bytes the scenario has one method called embed it has a method called embed in the embed you supply the screenshot bytes and this is the type like what type you want so when you do image slash png the image will be stored into a png format okay image will be stored into a png format and uh, yeah image image will be stored with the png format and this should come inside the try catch which will it will, because it will throw the exception so let me uh, remove the try catch and let me show you so what happens is when you uh, yeah okay so in fact we can write without try catch also but i wrote into a try catch just to make sure that it should not uh, hamper uh, anything any failure happens it should not fail so you can write without try catch also so yeah or better you know this kind of code you should always write into a try catch so to select in that thing go to source and sorry go to surround with and go for try catch okay now let's say i want to capture the screenshot on pass also so same thing embed take a screenshot this i have written in the same line uh, same line so either you can write this two in the same line or you can write a different line it's up to you so when you write a different line uh, you have to ca you have to supply this uh, screenshot into this embed method and it takes argument call image underscore png and once everything is done this is if conditions this is else conditions both in both i am capturing the screenshot 
if you don't want for success you can comment out this and once after every test i want to quit the driver so this guy will be responsible to capturing the screenshot whenever failure will happen this method will be responsible it's just two line of code nothing else now where these screenshots will be captured so this screenshot will be captured uh, inside the target folder okay in the target folder there will be let me show you where it will be it will be not cucumber pretty or what i can do that is uh, i can run once and then we will see that where the screenshot is getting captured so now this is our hooks are ready this will capture the screenshot and as we know that we have designed our test runner this test runner will run all the feature file okay it will run all the feature file which comes under src test resources folder so whatever feature file will have it will get executed automatically so inside the src main resources folder if you go inside let me let me delete this a.feature i don't want that so we have two feature file one is uh, leads.feature one is login feature there is two feature file now if you try to recollect we have designed testng.xml so this testng.xml what we have we have a test runner file so the test runner file this test runner file is nothing but this runner class okay this runner class so ideally your test name should be you can just write regression test just for timing okay just a regression test and you are calling the test runner internally the test runner will call all the feature file which is available in the resources slash feature so what will happen internally your these two feature files will get executed right now we will go and we will run our pom.xml because in the pom.xml we have given the locations of our test engine so when we go to the pom.xml and when we scroll down here we have configured the xml suit file here okay this is one way of doing that now let's say you don't want to keep uh test ng xml file on the parent label so you can go to this resources folder test resource and you can create one suit file okay test ng dot xml so it's up to you you can create inside and when you create inside you have to give the path here src slash test slash resources uh you can give like this so if you keep inside you can give src slash test slash resources slash test suit slash test ng dot xml so it's up to you where you want to keep okay i am teaching you both the ways so if you want to keep here you can give the path like this right and if you want to keep at the project level you have to just supply test ng dot xml now what i will do is i will run this test so when i will run the test automatically my both the test will get executed and report will get generated so now let's say go and trigger pom.xml so do right click run as maven install so all the tests should get executed you will wait for some time till all the test will get over the first test got started and then the parameterized test will execute then this will close okay i think the create leads test is running first then now some sign in test is getting started
I think this is the last test which is running. Yeah. So you can see that there was two tests, one failure happened, right? Everything we will see in the report now. So I will go and I will refresh the project. So refresh this. Once I will refresh that, I will go to the target folder. And in the target folder, I'll go for uh, Kukum, uh, I'll go for the second Cucumber reports. Here I have advanced reports. In the advanced reports, what we have, we have Cucumber HTML reports, and this is the overview. So I'll go for the overview first. You do open with web browser, and then you copy these locations. maximize this go to the features click on the features so you can see that one thing only sign in I can see that tags there are two tags and failures so there is no failures these are the steps features so one thing is bad here I am seeing that only sign in report ideally there is a two test execution happened but why I am getting only sign in test so let me go here and the first test which was login the feature was sign in and the second test the feature was lits creation okay ideally I should get both the report tags there is only two tags steps no steps failures no failures that's fine i will try to analyze then i will go for okay so here i can see that there is no report for leads feature okay that is fine now if you minimize this there is something called cucumber pretty okay if you go inside the cucumber pretty you have something called index.html right click open with web browser take these locations and this you open in the new tab so this cucumber pretty this is your leads creation so here you have both the first feature was lists creation and the second feature was sign in so here you have both here the background was login to the applications and then it was create leads so this is the create leads and then what happened is there was a failure expected is this but found was this last name so again for last name I have to put contents okay like what I did for the first name here uh, if I have to show you the script the lead page definitions right so whatever I did for the first name same thing I have to do for the last name also in verifications part here so I can what I can do is the same thing whatever I have done for the first name same thing I can do for the la last name because whatever the contents text is coming it is not matching with the actual input supplied that is the reason we are seeing that this like expected was this but found was this that is fine so once this failure happened you can see that this is the screenshot okay there was a failure and down you have the screenshot so you will come to know by looking the screenshot you will come to know this is your a screenshot now minimize this then go for the sign in sign in what happened is uh, four times got executed okay and when you click on this when there was a success this is the screenshot okay because we are capturing the screenshot again here background login again this is the screenshot so you have a screenshot you can see that even for success for all type of execution you have the screenshot right so this is the another report this is also actually good report where 
uh, you have everything you have a steps you have the screenshot uh, in this cucumber pretty report you have both but what i have to make sure that is why uh, this advance report the html advance report why it did not capture for uh, both the feature file okay that i will try to debug and i will tell you so ideally here cucumber reports cucumber pretty that's fine i will try to debug like why in the failure feature and this is the overview feature ideally in overview feature we should get both this was cucumber pretty and this was overview okay i have opened overview dot failure that is my mistake guys i should have opened overview features dot html okay i should not go for failure i should have opened for overview feature no oh, here also we have only sign let me open acha here we have opened overview dot feature this is a pretty pretty i don't want okay this is a pretty report and anyways i will debug that what is the problem i will fix that i don't know why it didn't get captured i think it should get captured tags there is only two tags steps only steps failure didn't capture anything okay so with this i'll close the video so here i spoke about how to capture the screenshot and how to see the report and uh, when you run through pom.xml you can see the report in fact even when you run through testany.xml uh in that case you will not see the advance reporting this advance reporting will not happen but what you can see that is you can see that the pretty report which will happen even when you run through feature file okay even when you do a right click right click and then do run as any of the feature file the pretty report pretty report will get generated when you trigger testany.xml pretty report will get generated but to get html report you have to trigger only pom.xml because the pom.xml is the one who is generating that html report right so thank you guys thank you for watching this in next video whatever problem we are facing i will try to rectify